Hello students, welcome to the second part of this unit, Understanding Cultural Differences. I am Santi and this is Language and Culture. In the previous video, we discussed the definition and differences between individualistic and collectivistic cultures. So to remind you a little bit before we move on to the next topic, cultures are typically divided into two categories, collectivist and individualist Individualist cultures, such as those of the uh, United States and Europe, emphasize personal achievement regardless of the expense of the group goals, resulting in a strong sense of competition. Collectivistic cultures, such as those of China, Korea, and Japan, emphasize family and work of the group goals above individual needs and desires. However, both collectivistic and individualistic cultures have their feelings. People in individualistic cultures are susceptible to loneliness, and people in collectivistic cultures can have a strong fear of rejection. Individualistic doers are self-assured and very independent people. They are quiet and realistic very rational, extremely matter-of-fact people. They strongly cultivate their individualism and enjoy applying their abilities to new tasks. But they are also very spontaneous and impulsive persons who like to follow their sudden inspirations. Elders who instill collectivist rejection rules in youngsters were often rejected by others from individualist society. Thank you, and I hope you did learn something from our previous discussion. Now let's move on to high and low context cultures. So it has been said that uh, when the Americans want to say 100 things, they will verbalize 150 things, for they are explicit in their use of language, in communication, when the Japanese verbalize 70 things, they are trying to get the other person to understand 100, for they are using implicit understandings and at times nonverbal cues to get their point across. The concepts of high context and low context refer to how people communicate in different cultures. Differences can be derived from the extent to which meaning is transmitted through actual words used or implied by the context. According to a cultural anthropologist, Edward T. Hoare, high context cultures such as East Asian, Latin American, Southern Mediterranean, and Arab countries were commonly homogeneous, sharing a history of common values and assumptions. When people of high context cultures communicate, it is not necessary for them to say everything explicitly. Nonverbal cues often communicate what is not said and silence can have great meaning. In parallel to this are low context cultures, such as America, Canada, and Western European countries. These communicators prefer clear descriptions an ambiguous communication and are highly specific. Low context communicators do not rely on or trust our relationships in business communication. They rely on the uh, spoken or written words. High context implies that a lot of unspoken information is implicitly transferred during communication. 
people in a high context culture such as Saudi Arabia tend to place a larger com- importance on long term relationships and loyalty and have fewer rules and structure implemented. Low context implies that a lot of information is exchanged explicitly through the message itself and rarely is anything implicit or hidden. People in low context culture such as the UK tend to have short term relationships, follow rules and standards closely and are generally very task oriented. So how can we bridge uh, this communication gap? The gap is more about uh, language of behavior than language use itself. And it can be bridged by focusing on the key necessary to unlocking business in any forms and at any level relationships. High context cultures value relationship, knowing the history and characters of who they are communicating with influences what is communicated and how. A solid relationship supports high context culture, natural implicit communication preferences. Thus, um, it is an advantage to devote time and attention to relationship building when working with high context cultures. Being aware low context communicators may be perceived as moving too fast or as to direct and to abrupt informs low context communicators to slow down 